it wasn't this introduced, for example, on the bank holiday weekend when fewer people are travelling? Or in the summer holidays, Robert? Mm -hmm. Well, th there is a good reason for not doing it on a bank holiday weekend. That's because when we plan a lot of engineering work, and I know you may <laughs> well groan in the studio that we're talking about timetable uh, issues, and now we're talking about engineering works as well, but they are very necessary, especially in this part of the world, where for many years the Brighton Main Line has been really treated, I think, as the poor relation in the network, whereas other main lines have had a much better uh, treatment in terms of, you know, kind of engineering work. A lot of focus is now on uh, the this part of the world and that is good news but it does of course mean short-term pain and why not the summer holiday Summer holiday, I don't really have an answer for that, to be honest. Uh, it, there may well be a very good reason why it has not ca been carried on in, the, uh, in the, the summer holidays. Presumably, of course, the tourist uh, industries in Brighton might well have complained because uh, there are a huge number of people but, who but want to get to the coast. the tourists aren't expecting a regular train. The tourists are coming down for a day or for a week, whatever it happens to be. Unlike commuters who are expecting to get probably the same train every morning and the same train every evening. And so for the, for the commuters, it's more of an issue to change the timetable than for occasional holidaymakers surely I, I agree I find that interesting as to why this was uh, the time that was picked as I understand this is traditionally when timetable uh, changes do happen certainly in history uh, none of this scale but this uh, is a revolution is it's not a time for tradition it's a time for innovation in, indeed and what we are trying to do at the moment is deliver on this uh, this promise that we've made